First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, we call Kadash, and to my honors to the Elders Great Millstone, while it's just truth, and also to the Ophelette that scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom. Come back here today with another great, powerful lesson the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the type of the lesson is war news. High alert. So I like to say shalom to all I listen and learn. Hope to swept you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So before we start today, listen, have a quick news article here by AP Associated Press. And it reads, it's a U.S. Gill anti-personnel mines to Ukraine to help slow the Russian advance says here the Biden administration announced Wednesday that it will give Ukraine anti-personnel mines to help to slow Russian battlefield advances, making the second major shift on U.S. military support for Kyiv in days. So after allowing Ukraine to use longer range uh, American missiles, said to launch strikes deeper into Russia, U.S. Defense Secretary Lord Austin said the shift in Washington policy on anti-personnel landmines for Ukraine was needed to counter uh, charging Russian tactics. So we see right here that things are going to constantly pick up. We already know right now that you know, this is a declaration of war. We constantly warning you about, you know, that, you know, anything could happen. You know, we already seeing that uh, Russia has changed their uh, nuclear uh, doctrine, you know, so whereby they can use, uh, I think they said portable nuclear uh, 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 devices or missiles, you know, something on that uh, deal. But one thing about it, we already know that things are constantly picking up. And also they saying there was rumors or reports that Russia and China warships are, uh, 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 approaching, uh, getting closer to the uh, Alaskan, Alaskan coast once again. Also, this this um, uh, Austin, uh, the Secretary of Defense, saying that you know that we don't have anything to worry about. Everything is okay. It's just routine. They're just uh, uh, doing military drills, and I, they also doing military drills also with, uh, with Australia, and I can't think of the name of the other country, but we're seeing right now that these things are constantly, what, picking up. A lot of people still, what, are not paying no type of attention, still are going to work, which in fact, you know what I'm saying, still having a sense of normalcy. And one thing about it, it's going to come like on a normal day. You know, all hell could break loose. And also, you know, it, it's it, things, it, it's in the news now. Things could go nuclear at any given time, you know, so... We're here. And so one thing about it, we're seeing that uh, America is getting ready to find out. You know, they keep thinking that Putin is is playing, you know, still thinking Putin will not uh, push that button. So we're seeing right now they already have sent these longer range missiles into uh, to hit uh, Russian territory. And also now they're talking about landmines because to, you know, to stop the uh, the influx of Russian uh are soldiers also in collaboration with the North Korea. So these things are constantly picking. Also in the news, it was saying that uh, that uh, uh, the, uh, the UK fires uh, uh, storm shadow missiles into Russia. Now, wow, we already knowing that you know uh, they're getting ready to get their ass knocked off. You know, and, and they thinking that Russia is someone to be played with. We already know how the story is going to end. The men of the Lord, you know, started with the uh, with the. With the, with the 144 and all the true believers, we knowing how the story going to end. And so a lot of people right now, you know, are sitting up, you know, getting ready for holidays. Still are talking about, you know, oh, I'm going to do this for this, this day or that day. Man, this could be your last day on earth. And one thing about it, you know, it's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? Like a thief in the night, the Lord is going to show up, you know. And, and one thing about it, you know, these things are happening all of a sudden. And men of the Lord, we're constantly signing the crime right here once again. It said, U.S. give anti-personnel mines to Ukraine to help slow Russian advance. So all of a sudden now they want to, you know, uh, we in this, uh, which is called the transition of power between uh, Biden and Trump. So, you know, just like I said, once again, you, you know, Trump is trying to uh, uh, 
a, a, a star, all kind of here, but it's all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem So we see it right here that they're constantly supplying them uh, with uh, military equipment, still supplying them with missiles. Also now with these uh, 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 anti-personnel mines. So man, one thing about it, you know, and also we seeing what Ukraine, I mean, what, what the UK is doing, you know, uh, these uh, this British uh, storm shadow missiles said they uh, uh, fired them into Russia. I think it was about 20 of them, but I got a little report on that. So let's get this right quick. So we seeing that things are constantly heating up. That's why I let uh, name uh, the title of the day lesson, a uh, high alert to mean to be on the lookout for what? A pending what? Danger or what? Of all hell breaking loose. So the what the proof man, what foresee is the evil. Let's go here. That's another one I want to get. Let's get this one right here. <clears throat> then when I got another video by Petra Humphreys, you know, I kind of like using this video. Let's see, let's see what it says here. Let's see, can I get this off of here? Let's see, let's see. It says here, let's get, read this title. It said the, the New York Times. It says here, it said Ukraine fired a uh, British long-range missile into Russia. Wow, man, look at this here. So, man, I'm telling you, man, so we already know that. Uh, Russia is going to be a god to these nations. We're seeing that the Lord is gathering the nation. And one thing about it that we already knowing that, you know, uh, America and Israel are getting ready to find out what time it is. And one thing about it, always keep your eyes upon Israel. So let's read just a little bit of this. It says, say, Ukraine fires uh, British long range missiles into Russia. It said, it said, Britain allowed Ukrainians to use storm shadow a week after President Biden authorized the, the use of American-made missiles inside of Russia, a shift from a more uh, cautious military strategy. So we're seeing right now that what they're trying to do. You know, they constantly want to bring forth the, you know, the wars to end all wars. But it's all by design of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh And one thing about it, the Lord is putting the spirit on, and also the Lord is putting the hooks in Russia, jaw right now, Russia's, you know what I'm saying, the bear is constantly being, you know, trying to like, hey, you know, I ain't, I'm not with this, but the Lord is, is going to put the spirit on Putin. And one thing about it, this, this thing, and when, this, when, this, when, it, when it happened, it's going to happen like a domino effect. And one thing about it, this place is going to be gone in one hour. These missiles are getting ready to fly. A lot of people right now getting ready for Thanksgiving, you know, getting ready uh, to go on the anniversary, you know what I'm saying, uh, going on the ways of the world. You know, that's why the Lord said, let go of the modern thoughts. So now let's get a quick precept. Let's go here and get this one. Then we're going to get a, a video by Patrick Humphrey. It says here, the prudent man or the wise man foresees the evil. What, what, foresees what? What's getting ready to happen? You know, these rumors of war. You know, we've seen all sorts of different what? Uh, events, global events all around the world, constantly happening, same with that. And the evils are growing, what, on every side. It said, it said once again, the prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. And everybody, we already know it right now, how are we hiding ourselves with this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, that hedge of protection that come from who? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the name of the Lord shall be a, what? a stronghold in times of trouble. And one thing about it, that's what we're going to need, that stronghold, this wisdom, this knowledge, you know what I'm saying, that will sustain you in these times of trouble because we're going to need the Lord because right now, we're seeing right now, America is constantly uh, is poking the bear. Also, we're seeing that uh, uh, the UK, Britain, is is, is shooting, uh, is, uh, is allowing Ukraine to use their storm shadow missile. You know, so I don't know what type of missile it is, but I got a little video on that also. You know, so we're seeing right now that these things are constantly picking up. They are constantly what escalating. The danger is constantly growing left and right. That's why, I, once again, high alert. Watch, pray, pray without ceasing. Redeem the time wise, God. We're here. Let's read it once again. It said, A prudent man, a wise man, the true believers, said, foresee is the evil and hides himself. Uh, but the simple pass on and are punished. Who are the simple? You know what? These two they're constantly, you know, preparing for these wicked holidays. Once again, you know, you know, going on with their daily life, you know, the hustle and bustle of the world. And one thing about it, this world is ending. It is fading away. And one thing about it, if you love it here, you get ready to die here. The Lord said, this is not your rest. It's time to get prepared. 
And the only way you will get prepared, you know what I'm saying, is through who? Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. And one thing about it is that, you know, a lot of people are seeing and they are hearing, but they're still not uh, paying no type of attention. They're not going to believe until some of these cities be totally destroyed. When you see billions of people, millions of people, you know, uh, what become unalive, then you will believe, but it will be too late. But when, that's why we're constantly warning you left or right. We, hey, we are here. So now let's go here to this first one uh, by Patrick, uh, by Patrick Humphrey. Let's get a little bit of this. This is big breaking emergency news. The U.S. Secretary of Defense has issued a urgent warning on live television. And he is saying this is, quote, a dangerous situation that the United States is now entering into. So I want you to listen to this. This was a interview he just did with NBC News responding to the United States using their own missiles and weaponry to fire on Russia. So let's get into the details here really quick, guys. Please just hit that like and hit that subscribe. I'm posting multiple videos a day, keeping you guys updated on this big urgent news, and it just helps to get these warnings out. I appreciate that. So this is what the Defense Secretary Austin just said. And this is big for our country because this is a major escalation. We've seen the U.S. approve missiles to be fired into Russia from Ukraine. And we've also seen the U.K. approve as well to their, quote, storm shadow missiles, which are essentially bunker buster missiles, have been approved as well too to fire from Ukraine into Russia, and there's also been a $275 million aid package as well. So I want you to listen to what the Secretary of Defense said and listen to this segment here from NBC News really quick, and then we will talk more details about what's going on. Just days after Ukraine began using U.S. supply, the long-range weapons against Russia, the U.S. announced that its embassy in the Ukrainian capital of Kiev closed after receiving, quote, specific information of a potential significant air attack. This also comes after President Biden approved anti-personnel landmines for Ukraine to allow Kiev to defend itself from advancing Russian troops. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin defended the U.S. policy changes in an exclusive and wide-ranging interview with NBC News' Courtney Cuby. He also discussed, among other topics, his potential successor, Pete Hegseth, President-elect's pick for the President-elect's pick to lead the Pentagon. Courtney has more. Today, the U.S. Embassy in Kiev closing its doors and issuing a warning to employees and Americans to shelter in place amidst the threat of an imminent, large-scale attack by air on the capital city. Now, this comes as tensions are already high in the area after Russian President Vladimir Putin said that they were, he was lowering the threshold for the use of nuclear weapons by Russia. We spoke with Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin today in an exclusive interview where I asked him about that threat from Russian P President Vladimir Putin to use a nuclear weapon. But Putin has also escalated, just announcing that he's lowered the threshold for using nuclear weapons. He announced this right after uh, press reports that the U.S. had authorized attack and strikes inside of Russia. Is there a reason to believe that Vladimir Putin may use a nuclear weapon? We've known for several weeks that they were revamping their their policy on uh, use of nuclear weapons. As I look at uh, you know what they're doing, and I, I we watch their strategic forces, uh, you know, very carefully. Uh, I don't see a change in their strategic force posture, uh, and so you know, we'll continue to remain vigilant in this regard. Uh, but. Uh, uh, at this point, uh, no, I, I don't see an indication that there's a, an imminent uh, intent to, to use nuclear weapons. Is he bluffing with this change? He has rattled his uh, nuclear saber quite, uh, quite a bit, and this is dangerous behavior, as you heard me say before. We would expect that uh, countries with uh, nuclear capability be a heck of a lot more uh, uh, responsible in terms of how they uh, how they act and uh, and, and what they're saying. So. Putin's nuclear saber rattling comes after the Biden administration. 
made two big policy changes with respect to Ukraine, announcing that they will now send anti-personnel landmines to Ukraine for use against Russia, and that the Biden administration has lifted restrictions that now will allow Ukraine to use long-range attackums or long-range missiles to strike inside of Russia. Two big policy changes that Ukraine has been asking for for some time. All right, so that was NBC News. He said that this is dangerous behavior. And he also went on to say that he thinks that... We're going we're gonna to come back to it. We're going to get another video uh, about this storm break. But we're seeing in, uh, what, uh, in this report that uh, Patrick Humphrey brought out just uh, a while ago. Let's go here. It's another one I want to get. Salakia. It's another one I want to bring out. But anyway, in the report... It was saying that, you know, that uh, they had these storm, uh, the storm shadow missile that they can penetrate uh, these bunkers in uh, in uh, Russia. So, man, they coming with it. So let's get this one right quick and we'll get a we'll get a couple of pre-sale. Let's go with this one. Certainly see this is a, an escalation. Uh, they've they've drawn a red line with it already. Uh, and uh, it could lead to the ultimate escalation, you know, nuclear war, which none of us want. Good afternoon, folks. Well, I never thought I would live to see the day when British like missiles were fired into Russia. But that's what's happened this afternoon. British storm shadow missiles, apparently 20 of them, have been fired into Russia. Um, I, don't, I haven't seen any reports on what damage was done, but I think this is an appalling uh, development and one that I never hoped to see. It was bad enough seeing the Americans doing it, but the British following suit is just quite appalling and so dangerous. I mean, the Russians will almost certainly see this as a, an escalation. Uh, they've they've drawn a red line with it already, uh, and uh, it could lead to the ultimate escalation. You know, nuclear war, which none of us want, and we were on the verge of peace. This is. Um, you know, Keir Starmer's uh, acting as a poodle uh, to, to please the uh, the lame duck, senile President Joe Biden, who just wants to leave a pile of turds for Donald Trump, the incoming president, to clear up. Uh, no doubt tr Trump is working in the background to try and calm everything down, and hopefully Putin won't be so pissed off that he actually decides to make an example of Britain, because you almost couldn't blame him. You know, we're a little island who... Uh, talks a big game but is really a very little concern these days and i don't think that anybody would really miss us do you you know uh putin and the chinese would probably uh, cheer us cheer it on if we if the british were taught a lesson those arrogant brits they've they've told the world how to live for hundreds of years and now we've just wiped them out with a few missiles i'm not even sure that anybody would retaliate uh, so I'm just appalled by our leadership. We are ruled by donkeys. We were on the verge of peace. This is the second time a, a peace uh, deal has been scuppered. Boris scuppered the first one in Istanbul before the war even started, and that was the height of stupidity. And, uh, and now Starmer and Biden have raised the stakes. Uh, you can't really believe that this is Starmer's idea. It's just him piggybacking on Joe Biden's stupidity and Biden's desire to leave Trump a mess to clean up. I think the whole thing's appalling. Let's just hope the Russians have cool heads, but we are closer to nuclear war than we've ever been, and uh, uh, I don't think the Russians will be asking too many questions. I think they shoot far first and ask questions later. So let's just see what happens, but pray for peace, folks. This is getting out of hand and is, frankly, terrifying. So we see right there, you know, this man is saying that, hey, you know, this is right here uh, looking just like what? World War Three. So right now, this, this, you know, we seeing that now Ukraine is, is, is I'm mean, not Ukraine. The UK is using these shadow storm, these storm shadow missiles. You know what I'm saying? That, that which, in fact, they got this penetration. Uh, these missiles can penetrate uh, their bunkers. So, hey, man, well, what do you think that uh, Putin is getting ready to do? So, man. All things are ready. They're setting the stage. You know what I'm saying? All hell is getting ready to break loose. And sorry about the jumping around. Let's go here and get this quick one. Then we'll go back to, uh, we'll go back to um, uh, uh, Patrick Humphreys in a minute. So lock it. Uh, so we seeing, you know, that the man is saying that, man, we, you know what I'm saying? They're going to knock us off the, 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 
the map, this little island. But one thing about it, you know, hey, the Lord is, you know, he's getting ready to take out Esau, Edom. You know, he's getting ready to cut him off. So we see him right now. He He's constantly, you know what I'm saying, is, 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 is instigating, you know. And one thing about it, we already knowing that, uh, that America will be totally destroyed, you know what I'm saying. And we know it at some point of time, Salakia, uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, let's get to the scripture, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 50, 45. But anyway, we already know that at some point we know that NATO is going to turn on Babylon the Great. They shall burn the whore when you go to Revelation chapter 17, you know. So, so we already know that, hey, amen, this man is setting the stage for his own demise. So now let's start up at uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 45 said, My people go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul uh, from the fierce anger of the Lord. So, you know, hey, you better deliver yourself. You know, how do you do that? Spiritually, you know, and one thing about it, you know, hoping that we're part of the hope let because the Lord is getting ready to bring forth this judgment like we have never seen before. And also, we hoping that we get delivered on that great fathership when the Lord returns. So let's read this once again. It said, verse 45, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 45, said, my people go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the the fierce anger of the Lord. Verse 46, and lest your heart faint and ye fear for the rumors that shall be heard in the land, a rumor shall both come in one year and after that in another shall come a rumor and violence in the land, rulers against rulers. So that's exactly what we see in rulers, I mean rumors behind uh, rumors. Also, we're seeing what violence in the land. Are we seeing what nations are rising against nations? And also, we know we read upon what World War Three, the last and final war, the wars to end all wars. We're here, the implementation of what the MOTB. We goes over these things left and right. So right now, we that's what we're seeing it left, left and right. We're at the what? The beginning of sorrow. That transition of power is taking place right before our eyes. Verse 47 says, Therefore, behold, the days come that I will do judgment upon the graven image of Babylon or America, and, and her whole land shall be confounded, and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her, coming soon. Verse 48 said, Then the heavens and the earth and all that is therein shall sing for Babylon, for the spoiler shall come unto her from the north." North says the Lord, so we're very close to that time. You know this this invading force. So right now, you know, you know, you seeing that Austin, uh, this man, uh, the sec Secretary of Defense, uh, uh, we seeing that he uh, constantly saying that they're you know not going to be. Uh, uh, they feel like uh, Russia's not going to do anything, but they're constantly you know uh, in for a rude awake. This uh, guy, what Lord Austin, you know. So we see it right now that, you know, they're constantly trying to tell you that everything is all right, all things are fine, but yet and still they're constantly uh, b trying to bum the hell out of out of Russia. So we already know that, hey, man, how is this is going to end? And one thing about it, uh, in one hour thy judgment come. So let's read uh, verse 48 again. It said, then the heavens and the earth and all that if therein shall sing for Babylon, for the spoiler shall come unto her from the north, says the Lord. Verse 49, so as Babylon has caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall, shall fall the slain of all the earth. So one thing about it, the Lord is getting ready to repay. The Lord is getting ready to bring that judgment. What was done to us is getting ready to be done to them. You know, left and right, we're seeing it happening. The Lord is, is setting the stage. We're seeing that the Lord is gathering the nation. We are so very close. So now let's go back to that video. Let's get a little bit more of this uh, Patrick Humphrey, uh, Humphrey, then we'll close out. They haven't changed their positioning of their nuclear arsenal. And he says they're monitoring the situation right now, right? So let me know what you guys think of what he said, all right? Is he, is the situation not that serious or are they not taking it as serious as it needs to be taken, all right? What's the actual truth here? Is it not a big deal? It seems like a big deal, authorizing U.S. weapons, long-range weapons to be fired into Russia, now authorizing 
UK long range weapons as well. And now landmines have been authorized as well, too. And the US is even sending them. It seems like a major escalation. And Russia is responding, saying that they could potentially use nuclear weapons and hit US targets. So let me know what you guys think. Is he. Is this not a big deal? Or is he not taking it serious enough? What is going on behind the scenes here? Right? And just some more news of what's going on. Right? The UK supplied the quote Storm Shadow missiles to hit targets inside of Russia for the first time as well, too. All this stuff has happened in the past 48 hours. And the U.S. State Department spokesman, Matthew Miller, has refused to comment on the U.K. supplied missiles or whether the U.S. is providing navigational assistance for their use. Okay, that's another thing is that something that people don't realize. I know a lot of you guys do, but in the general public is that Starlink is the backbone of the operations inside of Ukraine. Okay, these drones and these guided systems they all so we see it right now you know you know they keep telling you that everything is going to be all right everything is fine you know they're you know they just you know just regular routine we foreseeing the evil and one thing about it you know a lot of people are getting rocked back to sleep from the left hand side and these evils are constantly growing left and right and one thing about it is high time to prophesy and it also is it's high time to what? To wake out of sleep. It's time to wake your ass up. It's right in front of our face. You know, the two-thirds, they are not going to get it until all hell break loose. And one thing about it, we already know the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. We already know that Russia is constantly getting in position. We're seeing that these nations are constantly what? preparing for war. And one thing about it, we can see it. You know, it's, it's happening. So very fat, man. We we so very excited. These prophets are speaking. So let's go to our last and final script. It says here, Ecclesiastes of Sirach chapter five and, ver and verse seven. It said, "Make no terror to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly, suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security, uh, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance." Verse eight: Set not thy heart upon goods unjustly gotten, for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. So we're very close. A lot of people are constantly putting out, making no terror. You know, they're constantly delaying. They're constantly prolonging, you know what I'm saying, from day to day. And one thing about it, we already know that the, the time is, it was constantly, what, accelerate. You know, the Lord is shortening the day for what? The elect sake, because we're coming upon that time of trouble that we have never seen before. Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation. You know, we, we're very close. What the mark of the beast, all these things are constantly coming left and right. We're constantly warning you. We're seeing this man is constantly 24 7, constantly uh, picking up the pace over here with Ukraine. They're using Ukraine for uh, just a pub. This proxy war is getting ready to turn into uh, uh, the real deal. You know, it's America uh, against Russia, China, and also these other nations that's going to come against America. You know, we already know once again that Russia is getting ready to be a god. This is the what the quiet before the storm. And one thing about it, they get ready to wake that bear up out of his what hibernation. And when he get angry, we already know what's going to happen. And once again, keep your eyes on Israel, the least of the flock. These things are happening at a fast pace. Time is constantly picking up. These prophecies are constantly what? Speaking loud and clear. And we're getting closer and closer to the second coming of our Lord and Savior and our great deliverer. He's at the door. UFO sightings are all across the world. In the middle of the Lord, we're constantly what? Standing on our watch and we're standing on fire for Yahweh by Hashem Shah. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is War News High Alert. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekah Kwadash. I'd like to say, Shalom, Shalom.